Hello, hello everybody. This is Rio with PoshPlumPlans.com and today I am here doing a plan with me with my Happy Planner Transformer Planner. Uh, hopefully you guys caught this video that I did maybe about a week ago. Well, I am doing my very first plan with me for the new year and I'm going to be doing it in my Health Hero planner. So I just wanted to flip through really quick and show you guys what my planner setup looked like. And my first page where I've got my name in here with my name stickers. I did that just a couple days ago and put all of my different um, names in here. Let's see, not in the notes pages. <laughs> and right here, just kind of based on the color scheme of the planner that I was in, I went ahead and put my name in here. So let's go ahead and flip to the month or the week that I'm going to be planning. I've got it marked off. I'm going to take off my clip here, pull out the pages, and then we'll get started. Okay, so I've got my pages laid out here, and then I also have pens with me and a bunch of sticker books. So I want to talk about the sticker books that I'm going to be using really quick. I like to go through in my pre-planning and just kind of page flag off the stickers that I want to use. So you'll see a couple different things in here. You'll see the regular Happy Planner books that you can purchase at the store, and then you'll see kind of a makeshift thing that I've done here and put a bunch of different Happy Planner sticker books on the expander discs. And I've got a bunch of these here actually, because you know as Happy Planner girls, we want like every single one. <laughs> of these sticker books. So I've got a bunch of them here on the expander discs and I can just show you really quick how I put that together. I was gonna do a whole video on it, which I can definitely do. I know a lot of girls have done videos on these, but I just wanted to show you real quick. I've got one page that needs to be uh, fixed and so I just wanted to show you real quick what I did. I took some leftover scrapbook paper that I had that I knew I wasn't gonna use and I sized it up perfectly to fit the sticker pages. So if you put that right on here, it fits just nicely. And then there's a little bit of an overhang over here so that you can punch the holes. And all I did was use kind of a double-sided adhesive roller tape. Am I doing that right? Or is this empty? No, don't tell me it's empty. Oh, it is have to revert to one of my broken ones and hope that it works. It'll still work. So I just put a little bit of adhesive. Oh my gosh, I'm having the hardest time. This one just totally broke on me. <laughs> well, you do with what you have. Okay, and then just stick that right on there. And so that becomes a page. And then I usually do these double-sided. So you'll see as I kind of flip through these books that um, they're double-sided. So anyway, just wanted to kind of explain why my sticker books might look a little bit different than the ones you've seen. But I do still have some that need to be put on rings. I just haven't done it yet. So let's get into the planning. I do a little bit of pre-planning with a pencil. And I like to use uh, the Papermate mechanical pencils. They're just my favorite ones. This one is a clear point and it's a 0.5 millimeter. So I like to use that one to maybe kind of draw out some lines or um, do a little bit of sketching if I want to. So I've done that here. And then I come back with my pens and my color coding and then fill in everything according to my plans. So really quick, I just wanna talk about this week. I'm doing the first full week of January, which is a big week for me, because of course it's got New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, but on Sunday the 6th, it's also my birthday. So it's a big week, and um, it's also the beginning of 2019, so it's huge for everybody. Um, so I just wanted to kind of show you how I'm gonna plan out my healthy hero. Also keep in mind that I am nearly nine months pregnant, so mine may look a little bit different than somebody who's got more aggressive fitness goals, but still, I just wanted to zoom you in and have you take a look at what I'm doing for this first week of January. Okay, first thing I'm gonna start with are the goals for this week. So mine are pretty simple. I have four main goals, 
and they are all pregnancy related. So I am going to grab um, some of these heart stickers and I'll try to show you the books that they come out of. So this is the one that these heart stickers are coming out of this sticker book here. And I am so sorry guys, but I don't know the names of all of these things. So I'll just try to show covers and things like that as best as I can. Okay, so now I've got my little heart asterisks on here. I'm just gonna quickly write in what my focus or what my goals are for this week. And the number one goal, as funny as it sounds, is to stay pregnant. My next one, I need to really, really be mindful of elevating my feet because I am getting so swollen. Next is to make sure that I take my vitamins every day. Of course, I'm forgetting a couple days here and there and that's so bad, I don't wanna forget that. And then just my final reminder is really just to take it easy. So those are the four things I really wanna keep in mind for this particular week. Go ahead and replace my stickers in here and then move on to the today section. So I'm still in this same sticker book. What I'm gonna do is use this today section as kind of a daily motivation because I've really been needing it. So just to kind of give you an idea, I'm gonna start using some full boxes that are just really good quotes that I could use at the end of my pregnancy just to remind myself that um, things are going well, I'm not gonna be this pregnant forever, and you know, good things are coming. So that's my next step is to fill in the top today full boxes with tons of motivation. So really quick before I get started, I just wanted to give you guys a little tip or something that I do. I take a little piece of wax paper when I'm not really sure of my color scheme or exactly what stickers I want to use. I take a little bit of wax paper and just kind of put it over the area that I'm planning and then put my stickers down and then if I don't like it, then I'm peeling it up off of wax paper instead of risking tearing my paper. So I just wanted to throw that in if you're wondering what this piece of wax paper is as I do my um, stickering. So that's what this is for. And then once I'm happy with the layout, like I like these three quotes here together, then I'll take them off of the wax paper very nice and easily and then lay them down right here. Okay, so there's a pretty good start to the beginning of my week. I'm just gonna bring in the second page and we'll keep going with the rest. While I was flipping through, I just saw a sticker that reminded me of a funny story that I wanted to share with you guys. So I was looking for the full boxes that I wanted to put in here and I came across this sticker and my beloved seven-year-old was doing planning with me and she's just learning to read, you know. So she read this sticker and I started cracking up at her interpretation. So she read, drink the coffee, do not think. 
and then she took a second and said, oh wait, do the things. And so she read it properly the second time through, but I started cracking up laughing because I thought that was hilarious and I was like, yes, drink the coffee, do not think. That is definitely mom life. <laughs> and this last box here I left blank intentionally because it is my birthday and so I wanted to put some of these stickers in here instead and kind of make my own full box. And all of those the birthday cake and the birthday sticker came out of this one here this mom sticker book. The next thing I want to remember, I'm gonna put right here in this section, and that is to continue to take my vitamins. Now, I'm still taking prenatal vitamins, so I've got the prenatal stickers, or the prenatal vitamin stickers, that come in the pregnancy book. So, I'm just gonna lay that down, and that's gonna be a really easy reminder for my vitamins. I'm gonna have a pretty easy focus for the week and it's really gonna be tied to my diet because since I'm in my third trimester here I'm really trying to not overdo it because let's face it all the pounds that I'm putting on now are gonna have to come off in uh, a couple months here so I don't want to overdo it and extra snacking is one of my biggest things that I've got going on right now. So I'm gonna remind myself, no extra snacking, and it needs to be healthy snacking. So I'm just gonna remind myself of that and put down this arrow. It's gonna go forward for the rest of the week. Of course, I got that one out of the Healthy Hero, these two stickers right here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing down here for exercise, because again, I've got a really simple goal and I just wanna carry it throughout the whole week. So the sticker that I found is Listen to Your Body, and I like that it's black. It'll tie in some of the black from the other page I've got going on. So I'm just gonna put that one right in here. Again, with another arrow. That's just gonna remind me that this is the same goal throughout the whole week. I'm also gonna pull in a drink more water sticker. I know that I've got the water tracker down here, which is great, but every little reminder I can get to drink more water is gonna be helpful. So I think putting this beautiful sticker right here is really gonna help me out with that. And then in this section right here for the food log, I've actually separated it into three different sections. There are, there's a little grid here, and there's 21 boxes in the grid. So if I separate and do seven, seven, and seven, that gives me equal portions for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then any little snacks I have in between, like for example, if I do a snack and it happens to be before lunch, I'll just include it with my breakfast. If I happen to have a snack before dinner, I'll include it with my lunch. And then if I have anything to eat, dinner, and then afterwards, I'll just include it in this last box here. And again, from Healthy Hero, I'm just gonna take these B, L, and D stickers and just highlight which box is which. Okay, I'm drawn in the lines for the other side as well. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna put the stickers here just because when I've got the spread open, I'll be able to see the three stickers and I'll know which box is which, so I'm gonna save my stickers and not put those three stickers here. But I do have one more super important thing. This is the exercise section at the end of Sunday the 6th. And at the end of the week, I'm just going to keep track of my weight, which I know sounds hilarious to do. At the end of the holidays, I'm super pregnant and it is the end of my birthday, but I am still gonna put this here so that I'm keeping track of my weight because I don't want things getting out of control so I'm just gonna put that sticker right there super easy reminder that I need to find out my weight at the end of my birthday 
so my spread is pretty close to being done. Uh, I've got all of my essential elements on here and at this point um, I'm just going to continue on with the focus and the exercise since mine is so easy this week I'm just basically going to put some decorative stickers here and of course leave the food log completely open so that I've got space to write things as the days go on for that first week of January so I'm just going to put some decorative stickers here um, maybe a little something here and that should pretty much finish my spread okay in this memory planning book I found a huge best week ever so I'm gonna put that right here because your birthday week is always the best week ever obviously <laughs> Also going to take this one um, memory keeping and just grab this cute little tiny happy birthday here I really like the color and I need to tie some more of this teal in here so I'm just gonna take this and real easily put it right here in the corner for me Oops. right there happy birthday Now the last thing I need to do is find a little bit more deco for here and maybe a little bit for my sidebar and be good to go. And the last sticker I found to put right here is also in this big memory planning book, which is this grateful sticker. And I know that that is so perfect because sometimes when my back is hurting and my hips are hurting and everything is really uncomfortable, I need to remember to just be grateful for this little boy. The fact that my body is doing this and growing a little man in here should allow me to be grateful. So that's just a reminder for that. So there we go. That's the motivation at the top. Best week ever for my birthday. And a reminder to be grateful with my weight at the end of the week. And then all of the food boxes are going to be left open so that I can of course record that here's my first page i think i want to find just a little something to put right here like maybe a cute little flower or something and then of course leaving this space open for a water tracker and all of this for food logs so let me see what i can find to put right here okay so in that same memory planner book i thought i'd pull in just a little bit of pink so this sticker right here should fit perfectly All right, so that is all set. Might have a little bit of issue marking off my prenatal vitamins because even though the sticker is clear, it covered up some of this. So I might have a little issue with that later, but it's okay because it's pretty. <laughs> All right guys, that is gonna do it for my very first week in my Healthy Hero Planner. The very first week of January, my birthday week, and the first week of the year. So I hope you got some inspiration from this spread. If you wanna see this spread completely filled out like an after the pen, check me out on Instagram because at the end of this week, so probably I would say maybe Monday the 7th, somewhere around there, I'll put this on my Instagram so you can see what it looks like after the pen and you can see how I actually use this to plan. So um, keep your eye out for that. Also, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, the bell, the whole thing. You guys know how all that works. Again, this is Rio with Posh Plum Plans and I will catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.